First of all, God wants us to take an introspective look at ourselves. Take an inventory of self. It's time to take a spiritual overhaul of ourselves. Search me. Know my heart. Try me. Know my thoughts. See if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in a way everlasting. If we are not careful in 2022, we can run the risk of pointing the fingers at others. But God wants us to take inventory of ourselves. We won't leave here like we came. In Jesus' name. All bound, oppressed, afflicted, sick, or lame. For the power of the Lord is still the same. So we won't leave here like we came. I won't leave here like I came. We won't leave here like we came in Jesus' name. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. One more time in Jesus name. In Jesus name. I'll give the Lord a round of applause. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Man, give him a round of applause, man. Carrying us yet through another week. Aren't you glad to be in church this morning? Yes. Aren't you glad to be here this morning? Yes. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, I will praise the name of Jesus. I will praise the name of Jesus. He's my rock. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer in him. I will trust. I will praise the name of Jesus. Help me out. I will praise the name. Jesus. Oh, I will praise. praise the name of Jesus. He's my rock. He's my rock. He's my fortress. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. He's my deliverer. Oh, yeah. And him will I trust. I will praise. praise the name of Jesus. Oh, I will praise, praise the name of Jesus. Yes, I will praise, praise the name One more time, I will praise, praise the name, name of Jesus. Oh, yes, I'll praise, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, he's my rock. He's my rock. He is my fortune. He is my fortune. He is my deliverer. He's my deliverer. In him will I trust. I will praise, praise the name of Jesus. One more time, I will praise, praise the name of Jesus. Yeah, I pray. 
praise the name of Jesus. Just clap the praise. Praise the name of Jesus. For life, health, and strength. He's my oh, yeah, yeah. He's my fortune. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's my liberator. Oh, yeah, yeah. In him will I trust. Praise. praise the name of Jesus. Man, it sounds so good. I will praise, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. He is my rock. He is my rock. He is my fortress. He is my deliverer. He is my deliverer. In Him will I trust. Praise the name of Jesus. This is the day, yeah. This is the day. Oh yes, it is. This is the day oh, that, that the Lord has made. Oh yeah. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, thank you, Lord. This is the day, thank you, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has We are the sons of the living God. We are the sons. We are the sons the of the praise. living God, oh, yeah, 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 of the yeah, yeah, yeah. living God. We will rejoice, we will oh, yeah. rejoice, oh, yeah. we will rejoice oh, yeah, yeah. and be glad in it, and be glad in it. We are the sons, we are the sons yeah. of the living God. We will rejoice, we will rejoice no matter what they say. We are the sons, we are the sons, we are the sons, we are the sons. So, 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 Oh yeah! In the name of Gotta Jesus, continue to pray. Lift a high praise. In the name of, in the name of Jesus. In the name of oh yeah! Say God will have to Tell pray. me who can. Nobody so can do it like my Jesus can. On His name is. Jesus. That's why we came here. Practice called the name of Jesus. The in the name of Jesus. In, the name of in Jesus. his precious name. In, the name of in his matchless name. The yeah. Hallelujah. In, the name of in his precious name. In, the name of in his glory. Tell me who can. Tell me Nobody who can, can do it like my Lord. Jesus can. Nobody. Yeah. 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 We have the oh, 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 oh. Tell me Nobody can do it like my Jesus can. That's the reason why we came today. To praise, to glorify, to magnify that wonderful name. Nobody, nobody I say, nobody I say, I don't care what the name is. Victory. Sing 
Sing it with me. Don't fool me. Don't fool yourself. Say, I have the victory. Nobody can do it like my Jesus can. Say, I have. I have. lift our hands to God. Psalm 95 says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Verse 3 says, For the Lord is a great God. Come on, can I say that again? For the Lord is a great God, and he is a great king above all gods. In his hands, come on, is the earth. We've come to praise our God. We've come to worship. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Are there any worshipers in the house today? Yes. The psalmist say, a great God above all gods. Somebody says he's worthy to be praised. You see, when we, when, we, when we come to worship and we worship our God, we say, Lord, we say that you are worthy of all of our adoration and all of our praise, not just because of who you are, but sometimes we have to look back and see what he's done for us. Has he done anything for you? Somebody say he brought me out of the miry clay yes. and he planted my feet on the rock to stay. He's a good God, mm -hmm. and He is worthy of all of our praise. We're going to begin worship with our invocation, and uh, we will invite Deaconess Natasha Seymour to come at this time, and she will lead us to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promises, just to know, thus says the Lord, our Father and our God, we give you thanks and praise, honor, and glory. We magnify your name, O God, most high, because there is no one like you. There is no one on the face of the earth or in the heavens that can be compared to you, O God. You are mighty in battle, O oh God. You are strong to deliver, O oh God. We give you thanks for your graciousness that you have towards us, O oh God. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, that you love us so much, God, that you sent your only begotten Son, God, to take our place. Father, for that we say thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that your thoughts towards us are good and not for evil to bring us out to an expected end, God. For that we say thank you. We thank you, God, because you have given us Jesus, your only begotten Son, O oh God, to lay his life down on Calvary's tree, Lord God, that we may be redeemed from the curse of the law, God. We say thank you, Jesus. O oh God, we just magnify your holy and adorable name, O oh God. The name that is above every name, O oh God, we rest in you, O oh God. Father, we say look upon our hearts, God, Forgive us of every sin, every unrighteousness, God. Heavenly Father, we say, Lord, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. Oh, God, there's nothing that can wash away our sins, God, but the blood of Jesus. Father God, we thank you so much that you have caused us to be born again of your spirit. For, Father, you have made us, Lord God, in your image and after your likeness. God, give us the mind of Christ. Cause us, O oh Father God, to have love, power, and a sound mind. Take away the spirit of fear from our hearts, God, because you have made us overcome as God. Father God, wherever your spirit is, there is liberty. So Holy Spirit, we invite you into our presence. We say, have 
your own way in this church this morning. Have your own way among us, oh God. Cause us, oh Father God, to hear your voice when you speak, oh God. Cause us, oh Father God, to see the things that you want us to see, oh God. Cause us, oh Father God, to be delivered from all the cares of this world, oh God, in the name of Jesus the Christ God. Father, we say thank you, Heavenly Father God, for delivering us from all the curse of the Lord God, being made a curse for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, when you can say, Lord God, that let the weak say that I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Father, for that we say thank you. We thank you, oh God, that we don't live according to the dictates of this world, God, but you have transformed us into the kingdom of your dear son, Jesus the Christ, the only begotten of the Father. The kingdom of God is where we are, God. And for that, we say thank you. We give you praise, honor, and glory for this service. We thank you for the mind of God that you have brought here this morning, Father God, to declare your word. We say, Father, anoint him with fresh oil this morning, God. We say, Holy Spirit, take full control of him, O oh God. As he speak your word, Father God, open up our hearts, God, that we may receive your truth, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that none of your word will fall to the ground, but it shall accomplish that which is set forth to do, God, in our lives. Father, if there be any sick among us, God, we declare healing over their bodies, souls, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, if there be any that is mourning upon us, oh, Father God, we ask you, Lord God, to comfort us, Father God, with your spirit of comfort in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Father God, for this entire body, Lord God. We ask you, Lord God, to cause us to be joined together in unity of your spirit of love, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, your word declares that the Holy Spirit spreads his love abroad in our hearts. So, Father God, we receive the love of God in our hearts, God, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for every minister on this pulpit, God. We thank you for the ushers, Lord God. We thank you for the ministrels, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for everyone that is present here in this church and those who are on their way. Those who are listening in, oh, Father God, online, Father God, we ask you, Lord God, to bless them in a special way, Father. Father, let us not leave this place the same, Lord God, as we came. But, Father God, we ask you to transform our lives into the image and likeness of your dear son, Jesus the Christ. Father God, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Looks like some of you need to be booted up. I don't know if you know what that means. Let me tell you what that means. In the old days when I was at College of the Bahamas and, and you went to, uh, to the computer room, you had to turn on your computer. But when you turn your computer on in those days, it didn't come all the way up. And so what you had to do is you had a, an operating system. It's called a, a DOS, Disk op Operating System. And you had to actually put that in for that to, to bring the system up. And then after you did that and the system was up, you had to put in another floppy, the five and a quarter. Anybody remember the five and a quarter? Anybody remember the three and a half? You had to put in the five and a quarter after you then boot up, booted up with the disk operating system in order to bring up the program. And so today, some of us need to just be booted up like that. Amen? And, and when, you, when, you, when, when, when the system operates and it, and it comes up, you start seeing initializing. Then you start seeing all the different programs coming up. And, and that is what God does every morning when he wakes us up. Come on now. Uh, first, he sends sight to the eyes so that you could see. And then your eyes start to accommodate. Then he sends some voice to the voice box. And when you start to speak, the voice comes out of the larynx. And then he, se he sends some smell to the nose. And, and you smell God's creation. Come on now. Then all of a sudden, you get your senses and your sensibilities. He sends movement to your limbs, and you start to move and say, thank you, Jesus. That's exactly what he does. But I call it not the disk operating system, but the Lord's operating system. Amen. Indeed, God has a way of waking us up in the morning and clothing us in our right minds, like the old folks said. Right now, we're going to have our Old Testament reading. And so put your hands together as we ask and praise God as we ask Sister Sherry Dean to come and give us our Old Testament reading. Our Old, 
Testament reading is taken from the book of Psalms. Psalms 19, verses 1 to 14. And it reads, The heaven declares the glory of God, and the foreign men show it his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where his voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them had he a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of this timber, and rejoiced as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the end of the earth. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statues of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, then is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is a great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from my secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord my strength, and my Redeemer, the word of the Lord. Morning, Bethel. Who can say I will bless the Lord? Hallelujah. At all times. And his praises shall be on my mouth. Because I can tell you all that God is a healer. I can tell you he's a protector. I can tell you he's a provider. I can tell you he's my battle axe. I can tell you all of those things that I have proved him. I know him. I love him. I serve him. I worship him. Because all that I have needed. Did I say some? Did I say some? Did I say some? All I have needed. His hand has provided. Great has been his faithfulness to me. Come on, Bethel. We serve a faithful God. He remains faithful no matter what. He remains faithful. You pressed your way here despite the cool weather which we needed. Come on, who like cold weather? Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. God is good. I love the cold weather. I can't deal heat. But God is good people and he's faithful. He's brought us all back another week. I haven't been for a couple of weeks. But God has been good, people, and we ought to thank him for the opportunity. And you've come out in goodly numbers this morning, despite the inclement weather. And that just shows that you know something? You need to come. You need to come. You need to come. You need to come. But when you're absent from church and you can't get to worship and fellowship with the saints, you know there's a void in your life. That's why the Bible says we are to come together so that we can fellowship and support each other. And so thank all of you who have called or sent a little reminder, you know, that I miss you and all the rest of it. I say thank you to all of you. You know that we're going to have a good time anywhere, at least I am. And you might as well make up your mind that since you're here and God is present, you have everything to say thank you, Father. Hey, thank you, Reverend Pat. And again, to those who who have joined us via Facebook. Thank you for joining. And those who are live streaming 
on our website, www.historicbethelbaptist.org. We welcome you. And now is the time that we can all participate. It says, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and what? Hey, shall men put in your bosom. So we're going to ask Deaconess Natasha Dean to come right now and lead us in prayer, which will be followed right by our praise team with our offertory selection. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you, God, for this brand and beautiful day. Father, we thank you, God, that we are alive. Father, we thank you that we are in our right mind. We thank you, Lord, for health and for strength. Father God, as we are about to partake in this part of worship, Lord, unto you, Father, we're going to do it with our whole heart. We're going to do it with our whole mind. We're going to do it with our whole body and our spirit. Father, we're going to give you our best, for you have given us your best. And for this, God, we are thankful. And for this, God, we are grateful. Father, we will give it cheerfully. We will give it freely, and we will give it willingly. Father, knowing that it shall supply all of our needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. We thank you, God, as your people come, Lord God. The God, they're not going to give out of their substance, Lord God, but they're going to give out of their gratefulness and their thankfulness unto you. They will give the best. And Father, you receive it, Lord God, and you bless it, God, and multiply it for your use, Lord God, and for their use. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. If you'd like to give to this ministry, there are four opportunities for you to give. One, you can give to us through our Royal Bank of Canada account, our main branch account, the account number 289-5688 or through our Bank of the Bahamas account. The main branch again, branch code 157, account number 135-000-1435. Otherwise, you can give through an internal transfer if you have a Royal Bank account or a Bank of the Bahamas account. A bank-to-bank -bank transfer if you have online banking from another institution or over the counter if you happen to be in one of those institutions and would like to make a deposit over the counter. Or if you'd like, you can simply go to our website, Historic Bethel Baptist, and click on our Give button. That will give you an opportunity to give via credit or debit card and you can specify exactly which ministry you would like to give funds to so that we can direct those funds accordingly. God bless you.
Say glory to God. Say I love you, Jesus. Coming right now with our New Testament reading is our brother David Turnquest. Good morning, everyone. The scripture reading is taken from Luke chapter 4, verses 14 through 21. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he thought in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Verse 17, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue was fastened on him. And he began to say to them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. The word of the Lord. I take privilege in this opportunity to introduce our speaker for today. Of course, he needs no introduction. Everyone knows that he graduated from the American Baptist Theological Seminary. We know that he is a son of the soil, born and grew up right here in Bethel. Mother, Alrena Smith, his mom, and Brother Alva Smith, his dad. He is well known throughout the Bahamas. And let me say, whilst he needs no introduction, I am taking this uh, few seconds to introduce him because I've never had the chance to introduce him. And so this is kind of a little selfish because sometimes you want to say something good to somebody and, and the opportunity arises and, and so you take it. And so I remember when I came to Bethel in the early 1980s, he was beloved in the sight of every member of Bethel. Uh, he was charismatic and talented. In fact, one of the reasons that I, I kind of clung is because I was attracted to the youth choir because he, he had the youth choir in quote unquote its heyday when there were not many that had the popularity or sounded like our youth choir back then. He brought innovation and he brought creativeness to our youth choir. He was a talented director and, and he's gone on to do some, some good and some great things during his time. But there was a connection between me and him. I remember uh, before he even knew me, all he heard was, that's Lean grandson. And as soon as he heard that, he was calling my name to come pray. He didn't know if I was saved or not, but I was Lean grandson. And he was calling my name to pray. And, and, and put me to conduct services, and, and we had not even spoken. And when the youth choir would go out to sing, he would impromptu just call me up and say, introduce the choir. And so there was this connection uh, because he knew me even though he didn't know me. And so over the years, we've, we've always been cordial and I've always had 
a lot of respect for him. And indeed, I've seen God use him in so many ways in terms of our youth. He is a leader, a leader of men, and we thank God for him. And so right before uh, he comes, our praise team will minister in song, and the next voice you will hear thereafter will be that of God's man for the hour, our speaker for the day, the Reverend Patrick Smith. Yeah. 
lift up that sound of praise. Jesus loves to hear it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we adore you, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord. Bless you, Lord. We bless you today, Lord. We bless you today. We bless you, Lord, with our hearts. We bless you, Lord, with our minds. We bless you, Lord. With everything we've got, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes Lord, 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 thank you Lord Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord, we love to praise his name. Is the praise of all his people. We're glad to be here in the house of the Lord one more time. Thank Brother Ricky for his introduction. Thank him for moderating this service. We just thank God for all of you. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's just so good. Hallelujah. 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 Forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things which are ahead. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Defining our own destiny. Defining our own destiny. Do you think change is easy? Ask anyone who has taken a break. A bad habit, a change, a wrong mindset, an attitude. You will discover change doesn't always feel good. It involves renewing your mind and replacing wrong mindsets. With God's way of thinking. God's way of doing things. It also involves defending your mind against wrong thoughts. The daily battle confronting you when you decide to change. Takes place in your mind. The enemy may lead you to believe that you cannot change or it's too difficult to change. However, you must be steadfast yes. in maintaining a mindset that is focused on God and his word. I believe this shaking that we are experiencing today is designed to awaken believers who have become seduced, sedated by the world system. To cause them to consider who and what they have placed their trust in. God gave us the ability to. Know his mind, to know his thoughts, so that we would not be confined or limited by what the world says we can have or do. Because we have been indoctrinated through education to embrace conformity and not our creativity. 
Many believers are unnecessarily suffering lack when they are pregnant with ideas waiting to be birthed that could provide for their generations. This will require you to renew your mind and to know that God is your source. And everything else is a resource. Before I came, come close to the end of this message, God wants you to take a look at ourselves. We came to the end of 2021 and cross over to 2022. What do we expect to do this year? How much of our goals do we expect to accomplish? First of all, God wants us to take an introspective look at ourselves. Take an inventory of self. It's time to take a spiritual overhaul of ourselves. Search me. Know my heart. Try me. Know my thoughts. See if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in a way everlasting. If we are not careful in 2022... We can run the risk of pointing the fingers at others. But God wants us to take inventory of ourselves. Our own lives. God wants us to check us out. Lord, I'm wrong. Make me right. Lord, I messed up. Clean me up. Lord, I have said the wrong thing. Reverse my speech. Lord, I am waiting. Made a bad decision. Direct my path. It's not my mother. Not my father. Not my brother. Not my sister. But it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Melt me. Mold me. Use me. Fill me. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on me. Some folks would rather choose houses and land. Some folks choose silver and gold. These things, they come and they treasure thought for my soul. But, but, but I've decided... To make Jesus my choice. Road gets rough. Going gets tough. The hills are sometimes hard to climb. But I started out. A long time ago. There's no doubt in my mind. I've decided. I say I've decided. I, I have decided. I have decided. To make Jesus. My choice. Look out for satanic attacks. Look out for satanic attacks. You can be a shining star in your present condition. One of the first attacks of the enemy is a lack of spiritual passion. When you lack passion, you become a person who is always on edge. You are always frustrated. You have no more drive. You always have second thoughts on coming to church. You become less interested in evangelism. You all have deserved. You all have interest in. In support of your passion always lead to your purpose. Your passion always lead to your purpose. Without having a passion for something, you will never see your purpose come into fruition. And if you never experience fruition, you will never make 
into your destination. Stay focused. Remain in forward motion. <laughs> Be steadfast. <laughs> Be unmovable. <laughs> Always abounding in the work of God. Your purpose cannot be changed. Your purpose cannot be changed. What is your purpose for being here? Your main purpose from being here is to worship God. Your main purpose for being here is to worship God. Create your life around him. He wants to be at the center of your life. He wants to be the axis of your existence. He wants to have a love affair with you. Love the Lord with all your heart and your mind and your soul. Love your neighbor as yourself. You must enjoy God loving you and you loving on him. That's the most important thing. That is your purpose. Finally, you must have a strong urge not to quit mm. our assignment. Mm. In 2022, the devil wants to move you from your position. And your position will take you straight to your destination. Look up. Psalm 121 says, I will lift my eyes. To the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which hath made heaven and earth. He will not suffer the root to be moved. And the, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. He, behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade. Upon thy right hand, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from now all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Hebrews 12 and 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and so sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Define your own destiny. Subjection to the word of God. Just into your own pre-created spirit. It does not work automatically. You have to stay with it. All the time. I know I love to eat and I love macaroni and cheese and fried chicken. Sometimes I get it. Craving for greasy comforters. <laughs> but in 2022, just to let the devil know, I am in control. Hallelujah. I will deny myself. I will refuse to eat them. I will tell my body I am in charge. Me. I 
I mean, on the inside is in control. <laughs> body, you don't control me. Did I tell your body something? You don't control me. <laughs> Glory be to God. And whatever again, personal craving might be, take control. You must take control of your body. Tell it to your body. Let it know. I'm in charge. I say, I'm in charge. Yes, I'm in charge. Hallelujah. I believe, I, be, I, I believe that there are at least 20 people in Bethel this morning. Who can stand to testify that in 2022 the devil tried the best to kill you, kill your spirit, make you kind, make you void, make your influence, destroy your character, to crush your testimony, to distort your vision, to delete your mandate. To control you. To disturb your mind. To get you so discouraged to you walk out the choir. Resign from the usher board. Never show back up the board meeting. Stop speaking to the pastor. But nothing he does will work. You are still here, eh? Are you still here? Yeah. Nothing the devil tried to do you will work. Yeah. You promised God that you, that watch night would be your last time in this church. But look at you. Listen, this is not the time or the season to break ranks, great God from Zion. This is not the year to switch covering. 2022 will be the year of experience, one of the greatest demonstrations of God's power in your life. Can I prophesy? This year, you can expect God to do for you what you only dreamed of. Do not let anyone in your family or in this church cause you to miss God. Because plenty of people will try to cause you to miss heaven. Take your eyes off of people That's right. That's right. and watch God. Right. Stop focusing on personalities and keep your eyes on God. He is your source. He is your sustainer. He is your protector. He is your provider. He is your fortress. He is your deliverer. He is your strong tower. He is your lifter up of your head. Trust God. Twenty twenty two. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face, and the things in this life will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory. And grace. The women, the woman with the issue of blood needed something from Jesus that she could not get from the physicians. So in spite of the crowd around Jesus, she got realized, she got radical and pressed her way to the one who had the healing power. 
My God have mercy. God said, okay. I'm tired of people hanging around me just to be in my presence. Don't want to operate in my power. They run to crowd me and take up space in my presence but don't want to be benefit from any of my power. In 2022, God is looking for some people who are desperate enough and bold enough to reach out and touch him. It was not to touch Jesus. It want to be around Jesus and touch him. I'll do whatever it takes to touch Jesus. I celebrated with you and your housewarming. But in 2012, the time for my own. It's my time for the love warming. Lord, I want you. I need to touch you. Give me you. Everything else could wait. I want to you understand me. Everything else could wait. I want to touch Jesus. Everything else could wait. Hallelujah. At the beginning of every year, there is always great anticipation and expectation that the new year will bring greater manifestations of blessings than the previous year. 2022, is a new year and we celebrate it with joy new hope new expectations what a joy to walk especially when you are walking it out with the Lord most of the times as we we're super excited Standing, but some have traffic with seeking it out. God has always consistently revealed in his word how people shop, stop, give up, give in at the entryway of new beginnings. So once again, he reminds us what if we just walk through the process. We will continually see blessings and mistakes. Not only will we see, but we shall experience and receive. You remember how God dealt with the Israelites? When they crossed the Red Sea, he began to show them great and mighty things. In fact, the actual crossing were a miracle of humongous proportions. In need of self, the process was for them to be delivered, healed, and set free from this point. From the point of the Red Sea, they were leaving the old and at the threshold of the new. Just as they are apprehended, they bring to the brink of their breakthrough. Their struggle of trusting God began. Just as soon as they were face to face with uncharted territory, their faith began to waver. Are you experiencing now? Or have you ever experienced some kind of change in your life? Just when the expectation of something new, something fresh, something great was at hand. Have you ever embraced the zenith of your victory? And all of a sudden, everything you were sure of, you had nailed down, began to come loose. Have you Climb the ladder of success and 
having revealed the top, discovered that the ladder was just leaning against the wrong building. It is during these times, my family in Christ, that our faith in the triune God believes No hope for a bright, prosperous future takes a skydive into depression and meaningless mystery. Tell me how is it that we can simultaneously have joy while all hell is breaking down? Here is the miracle. Not that we have no trouble to start with. Instead, the true miracle lies in the front. In fact, that we can be battling sickness, financial trouble, problems with our kids, aggravation on the job, and at the same time have a call in navigating place that we can neither deny nor explain. For the remainder of the troubles we face in life, those things we can't altogether avoid, comes the assurance Jesus gave John 10 and 10, the thief <laughs> only comes in order to steal. Kill and destroy, but I come. That you may have life. You may have abundance in its fullness till it overflows. You cannot afford to live without the one who assures a simultaneous outpouring of abundant full life. Even in times when you're being crushed by enemies, strategy against you. God is not offering abundant life in place of our suffering. He offers abundant life in spite of our suffering. Great God, as I challenge everyone of you in 2022 to embrace the in spite of mentality, okay. in spite of affliction and bewilderment, in spite of calamity and disappointments, in spite of fear and frustration, in spite of grace and hand haters, in spite of indifference and jokers. In the midst of all these, I am more than a conqueror through him who loved me. For I am persuaded. Beyond all doubt, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor persecution, nor things, imposting, nor things threatening, was able to come, nor powers the bright of the depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God, which is Christ Jesus. If you want to experience New levels of blessings in 2022. It requires new levels of commitment, that is true. That is true. dedication, and willingness on your part. Listen to the text. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured. With the sword for mouth of the Lord has spoken it. These voices give two different options. Number one, to be willing and obedient. Or to refuse and rebel. Both options produce results. To be willing and obedient causes one to exit the good of the land. To eat the good of the land. 
to refuse and rebel. One to be devoured in the sword of the enemy. If your life in 2012 seems to have been devoured by the sword or the evening for too long, then this is your year to eat the good of the lamb. It's time for you to call your next. And by going to new levels of faith, it is clear that the level that you are now on right now barely allow you to experience whatever is on that level. Just think, at one, at one time in this year, faith for another level that get you where you are going today. But now it is just faith to maintain. This year is not the year to just maintain it, but to gain ground. This is your Time to get in position for increasing your potential, for partaking of what God pointed out and planned for your life. This year, church, I need you to make some impartations in your life. Say next! To see your dreams manifest. Next! To see your vision come to fruition. Next! To find encouragement in Christ. Next! To walk into my season. Next! To discover your destiny in Christ. Next! To find the fulfillment of your purpose and destiny. Next! To take break, take a break with the lo locusts. The conquer worms have eaten. Next, to initiate my God, to initiate my God, give of your life talents for your goal. Next, to allowing the word of God to saturate my life, so that I can wake up in complete victory. Next. Cultivate a renewed spirit of loyalty to find God through local activity. Next, and taking me to a high place with a new attitude, with a new zeal. Oh my God, with a mixed emotion. Let us make this declaration, I refuse. I see you can make this declaration. I refuse <laughs> to be subject <laughs> to another year without eating the good of the land. It is God's promise to me this year. Whatever the land is producing, the good part belongs to me. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Can't you see it? Can't you fix it? Whatever is producing the good land belongs to me. Get in position. Let us all stand. Get in position. The reason that you can eat the good of the land does not depend on your ability. But on your willingness and your obedience. Wise, all sufficient, all in comparing. Yahweh! Jehovah God if you be willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land but if you refuse and rebel 
you shall be devoured by the sword. Say it with me. If I be willing and obedient, I shall eat the good of the land. But if I refuse and rebel, you, I will be devoured with the sword. The mouth, the mouth of the Lord has spoken. We thank God this morning for his servant and his obedience to being that vessel that would be used to declare the word of God today. And so the word of God has gone forth. It has penetrated the atmosphere. And it is our prayer that we would have allowed it to penetrate our hearts. One thing about the word of God is that when it goes forth, and those of us who are the hearers of the word, we're then challenged by it. And you're going to do one of two things. Either you're going to embrace it and allow it to minister to your life at your point of need or you're going to reject it. The preacher reminded us of a number of things. He started out by telling us that change is hard. It's hard. We are people that have been born in sin. And truth be told, you can't change yourself. You don't have the wherewithal to change yourself. You have to embrace and access a source of power greater than you. He reminded us that God has a purpose for our lives. A divine purpose for each and every one of us. And then he reminded us that either we embrace it or we reject it. And so this morning, as the word has gone forth, we want to send the first invitation out to those who would have heard the word, whether in the sanctuary, whether over social media platforms, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the gospel has been preached this morning. This is a good time. This is now your opportunity to respond to the word of God. Embrace it today. So we want to lead you in the sinner's prayer, if that's you. Wherever you are, you know whether or not you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And make no mistake about it, God knows if you're one of his. So we want to provide you with that opportunity today, right now, to pray this prayer with us. And it's not necessarily about a feeling. It's about putting your faith into action and believing. The word says, if you believe that God has raised his son Jesus Christ from the dead, and if you would take the next step and confess it with your mouth, thou shalt be saved. I ask you to bow with me. Let us pray. Let's say with me, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your word today. I embrace your word. I confess that I am a sinner in need of a savior. And so I accept you today to come into my heart 
and to be Lord and Master of my life. And I claim you right now as my Savior. I renounce Satan and all of his works. And God, I promise that from this day forth, I will serve you. And I accept you to be my Lord and Savior. Thank you now for saving my soul. Thank you now that I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us continue to bow. Our Father and our God, we just give you praise. We give you honor and glory for your word today. Thank you again for your manservant who in humility and humbleness of heart has declared your word to your people. May we embrace it today, Father. May we allow it to take root in our hearts and in our lives, Father. May we allow it to make application to our lives, O oh God, that we will be the better for it. God, use us for your honor and for your glory. We know, God, that we are living in times wherein the return of your Son is so near. And so, God, we want to be ready. We want to be ready whenever you come or call. We want to spend eternity with you. And so we thank you today. Thank you for all that has been accomplished in this service today. You alone deserve the praise. You alone deserve the honor. You alone deserve the glory. This is our humble prayer. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ, we humbly pray. And all of God's children say, Amen, amen and Amen. We now will bring this, this glorious service to a close uh, with our closing hymn, God is with us. Come on, let's stand as we sing, God is with us. That is some assurance, eh? God is with us.
God is with us. God is with us. Christ our Lord shall reign as King. God bless you. God keep you. Have a wonderful week. Church Auxiliary Zoom meetings are held as follows. Bible study, we're in the book of Revelation, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Prayer meeting, every Saturday at 7 a.m. My brothers and sisters, please avail yourselves of these awesome life-changing opportunities and let us grow in Christ together. God bless you. The officers and members of Bethel Extend sincere condolences to Deaconess Lynn Shallow and Sister Deborah Hall on the passing of their father, Rodney Johnson, and Deaconess Catherine Dean and family on the passing of our aunt, Willamette Dean. May God provide you the strength that you need as you go through this difficult time. We continue in prayer for you all. Father, we present you the sick and shutting of this nation. We cover them in the precious blood of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you comfort them, heal them, and give them your peace as they patiently await a touch from you. We remember in prayer members of Bethel, including Sister Marie Winters, Sister Jenny Hinsey, and Sister Lillian Wilson. Sisters and brothers in Christ, we lift you on the wings of prayer, asking the Healer Divine to bless, strengthen, and heal you. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we stand in the gap for the following persons who have asked for special prayers. Lord, we ask that you heal them and raise them up to testify of your healing power and your unfailing love. We lift on the wings of prayer Sister Bernice Bullard at home, Sister Dorothy Carey, Princess Margaret Hospital, Brother Bruce Delancey at home, Sister Charlene Lightborn at home, Sister Ruth Miller at home. May God bless you real, real good. Happy birthday blessings are extended to Mother Dorothy Carey, James Hutchison Jr., Gerald Stewart Sr., Ethan Goodman, James Hutchison Sr., Isabel Strawn, and a sister, Shanique Wallace. May God bless you all. An executive council meeting has been scheduled for Monday, February 7th, 2022, 6 p.m. at the church. All members of the council are asked to be in attendance. Important matters will be discussed. Friends, the leadership of Bethel invites you to visit with us this Sunday at our 7.45 a.m. or 11 a.m. worship service as God reveals himself to us through the teaching and preaching of his holy word. For more information, please call the church at 323-5000 or by email to BethelBaptist1790 at gmail.com.